Louisville didn't have anybody in the top eight, and North Carolina State actually had the top qualifier in this event, too, so they're back there in third, but getting, gathering some team points. So we will have uh, eight divers, just like in the men, and they're only doing five dives, though, right? Yeah, so they, they only do five dives, so they, they get to do five of the six categories, so you'll see many of the divers leave one category out, so... Some of them will be the arm stand dive, some will be the reverse dive, but they get some choice there. Again, they can dive off of any of the platforms. And I, as I mentioned before, you know, North Carolina and North Carolina State actually don't have, they, North Carolina has a five meter platform in their facility, but uh, both of those teams actually come here to Greensboro to train. Uh, Duke has a flat platform in their facility, but they have to come over here and train at those two other teams. Maria Lohman will be first from the University of North Carolina on the seven and a half meter platform. And she's going to be doing a forward forward spinning dive, but she's actually going to start standing as opposed to with that run that we saw many of the men do. So forward two and a half somersault pike at 2.4. And I was joking with Maria earlier. It's like, oh, so you're turning into a platform diver. She's particularly better on springboard, but that was a really <laughs> nice front two and a half pike. 54 is her score. As she told me, she said, don't give Abel any ideas. <laughs> so 54, Sydney Ducell is up next. This is uh, Sydney's second uh, final this week. She made the three meter final yesterday. She trains in Virginia. She's doing an inward two and a half somersault tuck. They actually go to Virginia Tech to train platform. They've got a five meter in their pool, but they the seven and the 10. So her first dive was an inward two and a half somersault tuck. And we saw some of the men do that dive earlier on the seven meter platform. Unfortunately, she doesn't get quite enough power and initiation of the somersaults and ended up short of rotation there. 36.45 to score, not uh, something that she's going to want to keep up. Kelly Straub from Notre Dame. Kelly is from Nebraska, my home state as well. And, uh, her family is here supporting her, but she's doing a forward two and a half somersault pike on the seven meter. And again, Notre Dame does not have a platform at their facility, so they go elsewhere to train. So impressive to make the top eight without having that as a consistent place to travel, place to train in. But, but Jason, I mean, most teams practice every day. So if yeah. you're a diver, what, yeah. how do you do that? Well, you're doing a lot of the skills on the side, um, doing them off of, of a hard surface. You know, even here, you see the, the three meter in the shot there. In between the three meters, there's space, and you can do some, some preparatory skills there. But it's, it's a lot more challenging and a lot of the dry land training you're doing. That score was a 36. Unfortunately, she over-rotated there on that front two and a half pike. Again, also did it standing. Miranda's doing a back one and a half somersaults with one and a half twists. From the seven meter platform, she ended up a little bit short of vertical. It was a pretty good aggressive jump off the platform, but she's got to dig down a little deeper and get those hips up to vertical and work the entry. 31.2, so it's not been a good start well, here in this opening round for most of the divers. Well, and what I would say is it's a pretty op wide open contest. Well, yeah. You're going to see what's going to happen here, and, and not, not a lot of separation, about mm -hmm. 25 points between eighth and first in the preliminaries today. So, Lowman's 54 was the best dive so far. You know, this is uh, Kelly, Kylie Tobin. Kylie's at Virginia. It's a forward three and a half somersault tuck, and she had a great start. And again, you'll see like the men, you know, that tuck position where she's got the pretty wide split and the sort of flat feet, but got to open up earlier and then reach out in front instead of going over on the finish. 24.3. You know, and, and again, not having that 10 meter to train on consistently and only being able to go over there and being a student athlete and taking, you know, a couple of hours trip over there and trying to do it once a week and two hours there, two hours back. That's a, it's an extra demand on you. It's Mary, Mary Ellen uh, Targonski from Duke. And they do have a platform in their facility. This is an inward two and a half somersault in the pike position. She was an All-American, honorable mention All-American last year. It's her first final of the championship here, but that was a really good aggressive start. I like her jump off the tower. I like the pike position. I wish she would get out a little bit earlier and put that entry away. 
But all of those good elements really get that score to come up in that 50 point range. That is the second best dive we've seen so far. And now Ashlyn Peters from uh, Virginia Tech. You know, and Ashlyn, you know, they got the stat up there that she was uh, competed in all three events of the 2017 championships. She competed in this all three finals here at the ACC championship. So a good all around diver. That's a solid inward two and a half tuck. Nice movement. Again, pretty wide in the split and the tuck, but up and down. And again, but those judges are looking at those positions and going, well, you, you got to get your feet together, got to point your toes. That was the third best dive of the opening round. And now the final diver of round one, Madeline Klein of NC State. And Madeline's doing a forward two and a half pike. This time she's going to do with the running takeoff, and she's going to do it on the five meter platform. And again, they train here for their platform. And that could be a bit of an advantage too. So I'd like to see, it's a solid dive, it's up and down. I'd like to see it a little deeper in the pike position in that. And could be cleaner going in the water. But a good effort to start with. 48.1, so that pushes her into third place. So Maria Lohman of North Carolina who dove first is in first and we'll see her next. And Maria goes up to the 10 meter platform here for the that arm stand double somersault pike. Again, we're looking for the judges start judging from the moment the foot leaves the tower and how you get up into the handstand showing that steady vertical balance. And there is a judge up on the platform with her just at the entryway. So that's, you're gonna, you're gonna see some a good example here. So you saw she, she she bobbled a little bit as she's going up there. That's one of those things those judges are looking for. And, and without that, that dive probably gets those sevens yeah, and, that and was puts only, her over 50. That was only a 43.2. You know, they're probably taking a, you know anywhere from a half to a point off for that particular element of the dive from their overall impression. Ducell up next from Virginia. So this is the dive you saw her teammate do up there is that forward three and a half somersault tuck. Yeah, Sydney. Sydney did a nice job there. She's on the end of the platform. Good, powerful, explosive start. A little wide in the split legs and the tuck, but she found vertical, but not quite very clean going in the water. But solid and straight up and down for kind of borderline satisfactory to good scores of that six and a half seven. Here's Kelly's inward two and a half somersaults tuck on the seven meter platform. And a nice dive. That, that should be right about that 50 point mark. That was a nice inward two and a half tuck, just a little short of vertical. 52.65. Miranda Aberly, three-time high school All-American, now a sophomore from Virginia Tech. So she's doing the forward two and a half somersault spike on the seven meter, a little lower degree of difficulty there than on the five meter, like we saw our leader, our first place finisher from the prelims. There's a 42. And again, good start, and, and would benefit by being a little more vertical. She just over-rotated a touch on the finish there. Kylie Tobin. Kylie's doing a back two and a half somersault with one and a half twists. This is a dive we saw the men do, some of the men earlier, uh, from the 10 meter platform. Her degree of difficulty overall is a, you know, 14.6, a little higher than some of the other competitors in the field. And when you do those harder dives, you gotta do them like that and do them well for those high execution scores too. 67.2 is her score, one of the better dives we've seen today. Absolutely. Pushes her up into second place. And she, she's their uh, their all-time leader as far as Virginia on platform, as far as their overall scores. It's Targonsky of Duke. 
You see Mary Ellen do a forward two and a half somersault pike, or forward three and a half somersault pike on 10 meter, sorry, with that running takeoff. So really look for her to be on the end of the platform with those arms up and that powerful throw and a small pike. And that was a great demonstration of a good balance on the end and that takeoff and initiating the somersault. She's got a nice solid, solid pike position in there. Like how she's grabbing and squeezing it in. Just a little arch in her back and over rotation, but still good dive. 58.5, making way for Ashlyn Peters now from Virginia Tech. And Ashlyn is doing a, you know, one last somersault, the forward two and a half somersaults. Pike standing on the seven meter. That's going to help. That was a, a very nicely done dive and solid on the finish, and that's a nice tight entry. 49.2 is her score. Madeline Klein up next for NC State. Final diver in the round. And Madeline is doing a back two and a half somersaults tuck on the five meter. That's a 3.0 degree of difficulty, so one of the more difficult ones as well. She's going to rotate backwards from the platform here. And 51 is the score. And so that's a, it's right where she needs to be, but straight up and down. And that moves Klein into second place. So Lohman, who was the leader after that last round, has now dropped to third. Targonsky has surged ahead and is in first. Here's Lohman. And you'll see some movement up and down, you know, based on the degree of difficulty and the dives and the order that they choose to do them in. So you got Maria doing an inward one and a half somersault spike, a little lower degree of difficulty at 2.4 on the five meter. It's round three of five. And that's a very pretty inward one and a half somersault pike. 50.4 is her score. Maybe not the most difficult dive in the contest, but definitely a very clean dive with good scores. Ducell up now. 2.8 degree level of difficulty. And Sydney's doing a back two and a half somersault tuck on the seven meter, so a little lower degree of difficulty than the one Madeline did here a couple dives ago. And maybe she should have done that on the five meter. That was a really good start and aggressive, just over rotated on the finish. That's a 33.6 score. And, and I know earlier you, you, you like this, Sam, where you, you can see, see the dive, same dive back to back. Mm -hmm. Here's the, the same exact dive of the back two and a half somersault tuck from Kelly right after Sydney just did it. See who's better. And that one was definitely better. Still a little late on the on the out and over rotated, but still better. 49 the score. Again, I really like the powerful start and aggressive and going after it. That'd be a little bit earlier on her kick. Miranda Eberly now. And Miranda's doing a back one and a half somersault pike on the five meter at 2.3 degree of difficulty. So again. You got some choice on the dives, which you choose to do. You may want to do one with a little lower degree of difficulty, but then you got to execute. Oh. 23, not going to be happy with that one. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, it's one of those where you got to use your visual cues and get out at the right time. She pushes her feet pretty open up at vertical, and it's, and it's unfortunately still pretty high in the air and goes over. Tobin up next. A 2.9 degree level of difficulty. And that's a reverse two and a half somersault tuck. Pretty good, just a little bit short of vertical, but still I like what she did there. 
52.2 is their score. And again, over that 50 point, 50 point mark will be helpful here. Targonski, who was the leader see. after the last round. Yep, Marion's going to do the, the handstand dive here, that arm stand double somersault pike with a 2.4 degree of difficulty, but she's going to choose to straddle up in her press. And again, as you see her kind of wobble a little bit there. Now is that the kind of wobble that's a deduction? It is, and, and you know, the hard part is is that that's why you've got that referee up there, you, you know, the box judge that's looking at her coming up that way. And then I could see why you would give that a six because she, she never really showed enough control. She pressed up, but she didn't really hold that position and show off that handstand once she got up there as much. And I think that's what you know kept it out of being in the very good range. Oh, it's a good, good dive, but that's one big part of it. See if it keeps her on top. Here's Ashlyn Peters from Virginia Tech. And Ashlyn's doing the exact same dive. Yeah. And these are the ones when I've been in judging meetings after and talking briefs and debriefs when you're talking about handstands, is discussing that exact moment. Because you see, again, her dive was, again, pretty solid up and down, but the handstand wasn't as much control as you'd like, and so it's it drives us judges crazy because it's how much you deduct and, and, and what's the level and how much variance is there. Madeline Klein, the final diver here in round three. Madeline's last dive is a reverse two and a half somersaults tuck on the seven meter platform at 2.9 degree of difficulty here. I like the really powerful, aggressive, she's going after her start there. I think she could pick up her spot coming around at that second somersault and see it right there and let go with her legs a little sooner. But, you know, again, a good effort, a little over, but nice dive. Keeps her in second place. So Targonski still in first place. Klein is in second. Lohman is in third, heading into the fourth round. Here's Lohman. Maria is off for a reverse one and a half somersault tuck, 2.1 degree of difficulty on five minute. Again, not the hardest list, but she's executing pretty well this evening. I guess I jinxed her there. She starts <laughs> making her go over. Oh, 25.2. That is going to really haunt her in the scoring. And again, you got you to kick with the legs first and look back and over rotated there, but. got to do five consistent dives. Sydney Ducell up next. So Sydney doing a reverse two and a half somersault tuck on the seven meter platform as well. And a good start. She she actually started to open up a little early and I would say actually was a bit anxious um, and didn't just wait for her feet to come all the way up. And then when she did kick, she ends up getting loose in her stomach and pulling and ending up short of vertical. It's a nice big smile from Kelly, which become accustomed to watching her dive over the years. So she's doing a reverse one and a half somersault tuck on the five meter platform there. And that was pretty. Again, the lower degree of difficulty, we've seen that, and, and but that's when you don't really want to execute with those scores to go up. 39.9 the score. You know, hard, hard to get in that 50 point range when you're doing that lower degree difficulty, but again, it was a well executed dive and that's a better choice than doing a reverse two and a half and doing it poorly. So Miranda Eberly up with her fourth dive. She's doing an inward two and a half somersault tuck on the seven meter platform, so rotating towards the tower. And, and that one to me looks a little crooked. Um, she looks like she threw a little bit to the right hand side there, so it's a little twisted that way. And you know, if the judges de detect that, they will make a deduction for that if they're not quite square to the platform as they go. 40.5 was the score. Kylie Tobin up next. Kylie's doing a back 
two and a half somersault tuck on the five meter platform here. And, and that's going to be nice. I, she's going to break 50, I think, on that, maybe be close to 60, because that's a nice back two and a half somersault right. tuck. 58.5. You know, and that 3.0 degree of difficulty makes a difference, and then you're doing it, doing it well on top of it. Targonski, our leader, trying to hang on to that lead. Well, and she's going to do the exact same dive we just saw, so a good comparison back to back. And, you know, as a judge, hopefully you're, you're kind of, when you're watching those, you're, you're trying to organize them too as far as, you know, how, what was my overall impression of that and how does it compare to the one you just saw. And almost. So you watch the very last thing you see is her legs bend, and she gets a little loose going in the water. She didn't have to, but if we can see it right in here, she kicks tight, and then as she stretches back, you see those legs just bend early before she goes in the water, and that's what brings that down a little bit. See if Targonski can stay on top after this. Fifth round, and, fourth and, round, excuse and me. And I circled this dive for Ashlyn. She did an awesome one in the preliminaries earlier today. It's that back two and a half, but it was on the seven meter platform. That one wasn't quite as good as the preliminary one. It's gonna be a little short, but still. 54.6. You know, and, and she, she got actually 10 more points in the preliminaries earlier today, but it, that's, that's still at 54 points isn't gonna hurt. Flying up next. Madeline's dive is actually the Immer Tuna Somersaults Tuck. I think we've seen several of these on the seven meter platform. This one's on the five meter tower, so it's got a higher degree of difficulty of 3.1. Klein trying to take over first place. Oh. And I like that. I like that she's powerful and aggressive off the tower. I, I'd like to see her feet together in her tuck so that it's a little better position, but and again, that one did go a little sideways. You can see her feet kind of slide and her move to that side. And so that's where you get the five and a half sixes. But good, it's all over the 50 points. 52.7 doesn't quite get her into first place, but it narrows the gap between she and Targonski. Tobin now has moved up into third. I mean, look how close it is at the top. Wow. Well, and it's, it's going to be, like I said, I thought it was a wide open contest and could be anyone. And we will see how it all finishes up here in this last round. This is the last round. Loman has been all over the leaderboard. So this is her highest degree of difficulty dive. It's a back two and a half somersault tuck on the five meter. We've seen a couple of these. And again, that's pretty good. It, it's moving away from the tower a little bit. She's got a little too much sit. And when you do get that lean in the beginning, you're going to find it on the end. It's going to whip and pull over just a little bit on the end, but she did a pretty good job with it. A 48 is her final dive score. Ducell stepping out onto the platform now. And, and I would say this is a solid dive for, for Sydney, that she's doing a back one and a half somersault with two and a half twists, and she's got really pretty long lines. And when you're doing it with that twisting dive, it it looks graceful and powerful at the same time. It was a nice dive. 51.8 score. Could straighten her legs out a little bit there and kind of keep her feet un, you know, get from getting uncrossed there, but. So you're gonna see Kelly do a back one and a half, one and a half. So one less twist than we just saw Sydney do, but and on the five meter platform, but only a d difference of 0.3 in the degree of difficulty. What'd you think? I, I like it. I, you know, I, I think that's going to end up as good, uh, satisfactory to good at six and a half, seven, and it was a nice aggressive start. And pretty clean and vertical on the end. 48.75 was the score. Miranda coming out now with her final dive. 
So you see Moran is going to finish also with the arm stand, and she's going to do an arm stand double somersault. She's going to kick up. Again, she, she kicks up, she, she's got her legs split, and then she brings them together super fast and stops. That shows a lot of gymnastics ability in that control. Um, but she's kind of moving all the way through, so it's never quite solid in her handstand. And then ended up short of vertical and, and, and brings her down on her scores a little bit. 32.4. Kylie Tobin now from Virginia, the fifth of the eight divers here in the final round. So Kylie's got an inward two and a half somersault pike. It's 2.8 degree of difficulty. So she's gonna go towards the platform with those straight legs and bent at the waist. And again, we watched this earlier in the men's contest. As she goes by the platform, she flexes her feet. Cause it, it again, I used to do this dive. It's a little nerve wracking cause you feet or feel like they're going by and she flexes them right there and then she points them back again. But she reaches underneath on her entry. It's real quick. 33.6 was her score. Targonski, who's just clinging to the lead heading into the final round. And, and, and I think what we're gonna see here is Mary Ellen's gonna do a back one and a half, one and a half at 2.5 2 degree mm -hmm. difficulty on the five meter. And you're gonna see a little higher degree of difficulty. So she's gotta really execute a, a very nice dive here. Hopefully in the very good range. I'm not sure it's going to get there because it's off axis a little bit, but her teammates and her, and her, and her fans like it there. 41.25, not one of her best dives. No, like I said, I think she starts twisting a little too early off the platform and ends up not square to, to vertical into the tower going in, so a little off axis. And that's uh, opened the door a little bit for the last two divers, Ashlyn Peters and Madeline Klein. And Ashlyn's doing the exact same dive, so a back one and a half, one and a half here on the five meter. And that was better. You know, it was a lot more square to the tower, better jump, and cleaner in the finish. A 45 score for Klein. So. And now Ashlyn Peters, the only diver that can catch Targonski. And, and Madeline actually left here, so doing the back two and a half, one half on 10 meter at 3.2 degree of difficulty. And Madeline, Allen's doing the same dive, basically, but adding a somersault on the 10-meter platform at a 3.2. So she's got a chance here to come back. Klein with a 204 score. Targonski, 250.05. And I don't know. It's going to be close because that's not square going in the water and a little off axis, but the high degree of difficulty depends on how much they take off. She has just won the ACC championship with and that dive. And uh, the best part is look at her reaction and her teammates afterward. And that's Mary Ellen coming over and giving her. That's what camaraderie and our, our team's all about here is that look at them, both of them so happy for one another. That's A awesome. 54.4 on that final <laughs> dive propels her over Targonski. That was so great for Madeline. Madeline Klein of NC State wins the ACC championship of the women's platform. Targonski of Duke second and Peters of Virginia Tech third. Tobin of Virginia is fourth. So Virginia finishing fourth and seventh in trying to pad its team lead. Well, like I said, we, we watched all the divers before. We were talking about how they all cheer for one another. Look, it, you, you got them all there. <laughs> it doesn't matter what team you're on at that point, that they're, they're happy for her. You know, and, and Madeline's coach, Yaya Rodman, is actually one of my former divers, and his first coaching job was with me. So I'm happy for him, too. <laughs> That's good stuff. So Madeline Klein, the final diver of the competition, executes. And comes through at the end. And we'll return with the final race of the evening, as well as the trophy presentation of the award ceremony for the diving. 